What's going on guys? I've got here a 2008 Nissan Altima and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the fuses for your front and your rear power outlet. So there's one right there. There's another one down in the corner. They each have their own fuse and there is a relay that engages both of those. I'll show you the location of the relay as well. So to start with, we're gonna remove this cover here that's to the left of the steering wheel. You just reach in, grab it and pull it down. Now, Nissan has been so kind as to include a fuse puller on the lower right of this fuse box. So if you don't have any pliers, definitely take advantage of this fuse puller here. It actually works pretty well. And there are spare fuses up here on the left. Now, as far as the outlets go, there are two. So the first one I'm gonna show you is for the front. And on this particular car, they use a 15 amp fuse. The newer Altimas, they've upgraded to a 20 amp. I can't really recommend swapping this with the 20 amp as the wiring may not be as thick as it is on the newer Altimas, but uh, just something to consider. If you have a 15 amp fuse in there, replace it with another 15 amp fuse. So this is for the front power outlet. This one here is for the rear power outlet. So definitely pull both of these out, check them out if your outlets are not charging your phone or whatever it is you have them hooked up to. Now, what's cool about this is uh, you can check to see if these fuses are even receiving power. So this is something you'll want to do if both of your fuses are good, if you've replaced your fuses, but you're still not receiving power to the uh, outlet. So if you look carefully at the fuse, there is exposed metal present there. You can use a voltmeter or a test light and check to see if you're getting power. They should be receiving power whenever the car is on and if not, you may have an issue with a device called the accessory relay. So I'll show you where you can find that. It's actually on the back of this fuse box assembly here. So let's get back here. Uh, it helps if you put your e-brake on. That gives you just a little more room to work back here. So looking at the back of this fuse box, we can see there's actually three relays. The one we're interested in is the one that I'm pointing at right here. It's the second closest to the side of the car. So that is your accessory relay. And if it's failing, your outlets will not work and you may have issues with your radio not working. You can try swapping that relay with other relays as a troubleshooting step. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you or at the very least, a good starting point in troubleshooting the cigarette lighter on your Nissan Altima. Please do let me know if you have any questions or any advice about the outlets here. Thanks for watching.